some people are canoeing the wild waters of the Tay. We're having a little walk around Stanley Mills and we just realized that they have flats here that they converted some of the mill buildings into flats so it's just a little bit too industrial here for us I'm curious actually, I want to know when these were built <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a good use of um, the buildings that are standing empty But you can also visit Stanley Mills in the summer. Season run about this time, anyway, isn't it? Definitely red kite, so good to see, though. Eh? Yeah, yeah, so pretty good seeing these guys, though. Eh? One thing that has to be said, it's much easier to walk when the ground is frozen like this, otherwise it would be extremely boggy. Whee! the hardest part. It's just a long, long way 
shallow slope up to the hill fort. There's an old video on my channel where we go up this hill. It's called Craig Kip McLean. This is when we first explored this area. The wind is icy cold and uh, I also have a cold, so the voice is a bit rough. You can perhaps see an entrance and uh, traces of two walls. Here's the wall. Feel free to watch the whole Helford tour if you're interested. Really good view though towards the mountains off in the west. Okay, I've made my way down the chute to see if I can spot the rumored cave that's supposed to be somewhere here. Success! Oh wow! Okay, there's a the cave here. Does it look like there's a much easier entrance to the door from up there? Okay, that's good to know. Let us climb in. Uh, this is super narrow. Let's see if we can make it any brighter. Yeah, that's just tiny small crevice and the view let's see the view I would say the sheep definitely use this cave for shelter yeah that's that's the way down to the cave the cave is just underneath there It's two meters deep. Oh yes. So if you really wanted, if you wanted to, if you wanted to actually stay here, yeah, you could crawl in there, yeah, and go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, you could. A bit of hay or something in there, yeah. and a big sleeping bag. And... <laughs> yeah. And it is, no, it is actually, within, it is within the Hillford walls. Yeah, it's um, I could see that it extends quite a way in, but it's it's very narrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it goes further in. So now I'll take you up for it. Yeah. Back at the cup mark stone. Very flat cup marks. This one. There's not many. Of that one maybe. That's pretty atmospheric, not gonna lie. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff for children to play with.
Yeah, don't ask me to fly the drone. There's a view from under the low cloud. Apparently though, the Wallace Monument stands on the hill fort in fact. There's this wall actually here. Hmm. Does this have something to do with the fort? It's pretty prominent. Oh, just tight. It's about like a castle, isn't it? Pretty heavy. Right. There's a bunch of carta documents. What did Wallace look like? Hmm. <laughs> that is quite a departure between uh, between those and that. Uh, <laughs> Very 90s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, analysis that they've done of the swords um, shows that it's actually three swords that have been welded together. Uh -huh. And one of those may have been Wallace's sword. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, this... So he, did, he didn't actually wield this massive sword? No, probably not. I mean, the, the style of sword, this is from like the 15th or 16th century, so a couple hundred years after he died. Um, so. Yeah. Or fit mm -hmm. and hardy. Fit and hardy. Uh, this place is drafty. You can feel the wind. I don't think you can see anything. Let me. Oh, there we go. I can see a little bit. I can see some people. <gasps> people. Not people. Anyway, um, we'll go up to the top. Hall of the Heroes. Oh, there's a lot of them. <sighs> okay, this is basically the the roll call of famous Scottish people. Um. Oh yeah. John Knox, Alan Ramsey. Uh, hmm, I think I know this guy. Adam Smith, I don't know Adam Smith. Uh, not who's that? 
George Buchanan, I've heard of him. Is it to do with Mark Reno Scott? Um, I'm not sure, but he he was uh, he was James VI's tutor. Ah, right. He um, he uh, taught his he taught James that his mother was a demonic whore or something. Oh, like that. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Robert the Bruce. He looks very Celtic in this kind of. Very kind of uh, Vercingetorix yeah. or something. Vercingetorix. Yeah. I have no idea how to pronounce it properly. Yeah. Please forgive me. Oh, well, it's nice. That one up there. Looks a bit more like a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie Keswick Jennings. These are more modern people. And Robert Burns. William Wallace, some guy, mm -hmm. some other guy, and Robert the Bruce. There's a view into the corridor and how tight it is. Yeah, included the ladies. She was only 54. Uh, mm, did she die of cancer? So I think the point is that she got cancer and then she was taking care of other people with cancer. My legs. Okay. This is the room that tells you about the battle of Stirling Bridge. This is what the view could have been like. Ooh, look at this big spear. It might even be more than twice your length, you know? Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be forced coming towards Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's twice your length. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna design my own shield. Let's see, what do I like? Uh, I like, I like the saltire. Eh. Ooh, purple. Green? No. E uh Wah. Mm. Not a dragon. Cause I am a dragon. Oh, you're supposed to drag and drop. A shell, the sun, and hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, let's go for the arrows. There we go. <laughs> it's me. Oh, get ready to pose with your shield and sword. Look out for your number and get your camera ready. Oh. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So, film me and take a picture. Mm hmm. Just, um, just, just, yeah, um, no, put your arm, just, just put your arm out of the, uh, uh, <laughs> just, just keep, keep your arm, uh, out and your hand out of, out of thing and it'll just look as if, yeah, like that, yeah. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. it has been added to the most recent shield designs that people have submitted. Seems we have made made it successfully to the top. 
Ooh, it's a nice atmosphere. And the cloud. Yeah, looks like... Oh, there we go. Here it is. Ooh. That's kind of nice. I like how the sun is reflecting on the water. I will attempt not to drop you. <laughs> yeah. And there's a whole pathway leading around the monument. Except, there is an actual center. Okay. Here's parts of Sterling. Oh, this looks so pretty. See, I don't mind the landscape looking like that. Here are some engravings of what you can see. You can see Ben Venue. Okay, let's find Ben Venue. Oh, never mind. Anyway, on a good day, you can see far. You just have to believe it. Arthur's seat, you can see apparently in this direction. See how it clouded up once we were up at the top and it's all, all very cloudy again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun. I'm going to be driving this whole thing. <laughs> The, uh, take your hood off. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, now you're sitting next to a Roman without a head and your lady friend without a head. What happened? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> that makes me bad. <laughs> I'm having a cinnamon apple scone and sitting right below the monument. Can you see the monument? There it is. I suspect it's an otter.
you bye little otter. But yeah, it's a uh, warm and sunny today, very, very spring-like. So sunny in fact that I'm wearing my sun hat. But it's still very bare because the trees have not yet started producing leaves. I've taken a walk in the graveyard and noticed that this tree has come down. It's a tree that I quite liked looking at and standing beside so it's, a, it's quite a shame. tallest hill that's very broad yeah it's down to the left of that yeah it's that one so you can actually kind of see part of the rampart it's kind of a little bit raised up do you see that there yeah 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 warm tea on a cool day also, if you're new on the channel, just introduce yourself. I'm curious where you're from and uh, who you are. My name is Elena. I was born in Russia and now I live in Scotland. And I grew up in Germany. Also, let me give you final tattoo update. It's pretty much healed. It's hard to capture the color perhaps, but yeah, it's a, it's a moon and the moth. An emperor moth. An emperor moth. You can see that the, the feelers have come out slightly differently, one is thicker than the other. And the line, the way the line looks, I actually quite like it. The fact that it's uneven. But yeah, I'm satisfied. See how bare it is? This is actually the best time to explore places. Because the vegetation is down all the way. And come summer, this is all going to be filled with green and 
you're gonna have a real hard time walking between the trees.